Earlier this week, both Audi and Volvo announced that they'll be using Android to run the infotainment systems inside of their future cars. We're here at Google I.O. and we got a chance to get inside this Audi, see what's running, and talk to a few of Google's Android Auto experts, find out what the future for Android Auto is. Audi's been looking at Android for, uh, for a little while now, and their engineering team took a, took a close look at it over the past uh, few months. Um, and we've been working with them on making sure that the platform meets their needs. And then we kind of work together towards this uh, presentation and announcement at I.O. Well, there's the app developer story, which is it should be the same app. But then for the OEMs like Audi, they really want it to look and feel like that car. If you're going to buy an Audi Q8, it should look like a Q8, not like a tablet stuck in the car. On top of the hardware, there's Android. And on top of Android, they've made a, a number of UX customizations, like changing the colors, changing the fonts, changing how it fills the screen, laying out the media app so it looks consistent with the Audi radio, for example. So it very much reflects their aesthetic. So in this car, there's a center display that is 100% Android. There are some other displays throughout the car, which is pretty common. There's the cluster display in front of the driver. That's running a real-time operating system. Uh, and there are some other screens in the car as well, like rear seat, for example. Number one is we don't want application developers to have to do anything differently to get information throughout the car. So if you take a, a media app, for example, that's got a song playing and it's a notification, the idea would be to pipe that through Android, through the vehicle network, and then have that be able to uh, be called or received by another operating system or another screen. And so you could do uh, navigation, basically any kind of notification. And we're looking also at having graphics uh, move through the vehicle network as well. So Android can kind of send information infused throughout the car. Our mission is to have a safe, connected, seamless experience in every car. So obviously in this car, the way that shows up is Android OS embedded in the car. But I have an older car. I don't have a, a head unit that can support this. So I take my phone and I stick it on the dashboard. And because I'm using the Android Auto app, I have a safer experience and a seamless experience with my Bluetooth than I would if I didn't have that. If I want to plug my phone into a car that has Android Auto baked in, I get a better experience and it's connected with the vehicle controls and so on. So it's just grades. But I don't think they're, they're not mutually exclusive. They're, they're for different kinds of users and for different kinds of vehicles. That's the news on Android Auto, but Google's doing a lot more this week, including VR, the Google Assistant, and much more. To see it all, stay tuned to Engadget.